Rannoch Moor, 50 square miles of peat and bog and water over there. Bukalet of Moor, arguably if Scotland had a national mountain, that would be it. The one that everybody photographs over there in that dip, that's Glen Etive. And the A, is it the A82? I forget. The road to Fort William curves over the moor, over its far reaches over there. But nothing else really gets in here. And if you walked from Rannoch Station over there to Glencoe, you'd have to walk all the way through here. It looks very beautiful under these conditions. Just a bit of water, but you can well imagine that when it's been raining a lot and the mist's down and the whole thing is just a, a, one big bog, squelchy bog, it's not something you really want to venture out into and it's why Robert Louis Stevenson in Kidnapped wrote uh, a wearier looking desert a man has never seen which is essentially to say it looks bloody awful not today though it looks bloody amazing today you can see how it's essentially a huge bowl with 3,000 foot mountains over 3,000 feet over here and away to the west and then standing on the 2,000 foot plateau along here so it's all sort of just this big bowl that was left when the ice retreated around 10,000 years ago this was the last place in Scotland I think that actually had ice uh, and it's now suffering from glacial rebound as uh, I think it's known the whole country is suffering from glacial rebound when all that weight of ice in the ice age is now gone the country is still lifting up and Scotland is raising up by centimeters or inches each year but what goes up must come down, which means that the south of England is going down. So bye bye Dover. But uh, here, the, the, apparently the, the moor is actually rising by uh, several millimetres each year as it bounces back after the Ice Age. The railway for Rannoch cuts all the way along here, over here, nothing else reaches here. Rannoch is very remote, but it has road access. And then the railway cuts along here. And then there's a station out there somewhere called Curra and that has no road access at all. It's the most remote station, railway station on the, the British, on the British rail network. Because this is all bog, people had a hell of a time actually building the railway. It had to be floated on enormous big piles of branches and sticks and debris that they could find. It was opened in 1894, the West Highland Line, and it cuts all the way along here. And it did have problems with it sinking. Right, but now I'm actually up here. It's definitely time just to sit and enjoy the view. Oh, that's a bit, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what these are, but they're everywhere, buzzing around. Look, there's loads of them on there. Oh, lovely. At least they're not midges, that's all I can say. They are swarming on me though. Look at that, what are these? I don't know why they find me appealing. Anyway, 